Welcome to the Unit 4 Introductory Lecture, The Meaning of Research. The word research sounds like it means to search again. There is, in fact, a certain logic to this thinking about research as an act of searching that relies on repetition and looking again. Usually, researchers start off with a piece of information that they already know something about, and then the act of research takes them back to what they know to search again for further clues, finer details, and deeper connections. In this sense, research really is researching or looking again. In fact, however, the re at the beginning of research is a kind of word part known as an intensifier. To refine something means to make it even finer. Something that is resplendent is really splendid. Something that is replete is even more filled than something that is merely complete. When you move something, it just goes from here to there. But when you remove it, it means to get rid of it entirely. Likewise, the word research literally means to search for something in a heightened, rigorous way. And indeed, this etymological meaning corresponds with the nature of research as it is practiced by academic and professional researchers. If you lose your keys, you might search for them. But if you were to research the disappearance of your keys, the activity would look substantially different. The goal of finding the keys themselves would not necessarily be the sole purpose. To research a question involves looking at it from a number of different possible angles, considering what other people have said and written about the topic, and casting a wide speculative net. Research is not simply searching in order to find information, although it may involve elements of this treasure hunting approach. It is an intense immersion into the spirit of inquiry. When researchers are feeling entirely engaged in a research project, they often get the feeling that their entire life has become recruited into the research process, and that random things they see on the side of the road, snippets of overheard conversations, and even their dreams and zone-out moments are all connected to the research endeavor, that their entire lives have become a kind of existential lens calibrated to examine a particular question or line of inquiry. This is why some 16th century French wordsmith slapped an RE onto the beginning of the word search to indicate the intensity of this particular kind of searching. And as long as we are talking about the origins of words, it is also interesting to consider the word search itself from the Latin sicare, which means to wander around, being a relative of the word circle. These days we have our own modern meaning of the word search, to type a word into a search bar and receive in response an algorithmically derived list of hits. There is nothing wrong with search engines. They are indeed the indispensable engines of our contemporary information economy. But it is important to contrast the linear and direct dynamic of the search bar facilitated search with searching as it exists as a linguistic relative of circle, circuitous, and even circus. While it is great to find specific pieces of information right away, a researcher's most valuable experiences tend to take place in the twists and turns, even the circling around, of the search itself. The search bar can only give you answers to the questions you already know to ask, but the real quarry of the committed researcher is the new questions that you didn't think to ask, the new perspectives that you wouldn't have expected, the chance details that wind up changing the whole picture. All of this is a long-winded way of saying that research is not the same as retrieving information. Research certainly involves the retrieval of information, but a meaningful research process is more than a simple scavenger hunt. In a scavenger hunt, the players go out, get their items, and return to claim the prize. Researchers, however, go inside themselves, and when they come out again, they have changed. What they know, how they think, how they perceive the world in themselves and that change is itself the prize and the true object of the search.